I'm Bob the Veil Guy and today we're here to look at the relative performance of four GPS detectors to alert to the ever increasing photo enforcement systems, red light cameras and fixed cameras that are being deployed throughout the United States. We're here in uh, Northeast Philadelphia on the Roosevelt Boulevard uh, where there are six or so uh, ATS red light camera monitored uh, intersections and we have for 2009 uh, four detectors that we're going to be looking at. On the left side we have the Cobra XRS 9960G which is a 9955 with a GPS module attached to it on the left side which gives it its capability and hence the name XRS 9960G. In the center we have the Beltronics Pro GX65 which has the GPS capability built in and integrated into the radar detector itself. And on the right side we have uh, Escort's Passport 9500iX, which also has the GPS function built into the detector. And on the dash mounted we have, is serving as our reference detector, a Cheetah C100, which is a dedicated GPS red light and photo enforcement detector. Uh, this C100 we're going to use as our reference as it has a greater resolution and information that it reports more so than the three detectors. Uh, the C100 is basically the similar version in a different package of the, the, the GPS mirror up here, uh, also made by Cheetah, which we not, we're not going to be having on here for today's demonstration since we're going to be looking at the relative performance of these four detectors here. Uh, just for reference, as we're driving here, you'll see we have three detectors. We're not recommending that you run three radar detectors concurrently. We're only using them here just to show the relative performance of the photo enforcement capability. So we don't have to worry about uh, crosstalk and things like that with radar detector performance. So we're going to go on for a drive uh, through Roosevelt Boulevard and see how each of these detectors do. And I'll start to make our first approach, uh, first approach here and you'll see how these detectors... Red light camera ahead. Limit 35. And see how they alert. You'll see... Photo enforcement area. KA alert. Caution. Approaching. Red light camera. Location. Ahead. You've reached You've reached your location. location. You see we're sitting here now at the crossed intersection of Roosevelt Boulevard. And uh, you'll see that we're basically at the intersection. The, the Cheetah C100 is uh, indicating a distance of zero, meaning we're here. Uh, the Pro GX65 and the 9500iX also alerted that we are at the center point of the intersection. We're also getting uh, perhaps a little bit of crosstalk with the uh, 9960G, which is why we're getting a KA alert. We're disregarding that for now. We're going to turn right here and proceed south on the boulevard. Uh, we're going to come across uh, several more of these intersections and we'll see how these detectors alert. You'll notice with the C100 uh, it also has the capability of indicating the uh, speed limit, posted speed limit, as many of these red light cameras have the ability to have what is called speed on green, and uh, the cheetah knows what the, uh, what the speed limit is, and if you're over the speed limit, it's going to indicate to us that we're over the speed so we can uh, adjust our speed accordingly so we will not get uh, or be subject to a speeding ticket for proceeding through a green light which is called speed on green so we're going to continue south and we'll see how these uh, detectors all do. You can see we're, we're red here and the next intersection is green now watch when this light turns green they'll turn red certainly a, cer certainly a way to configure uh, a red light camera system to maximize the potential for revenue in my opinion. Simple redesign and the engineering and timing of these lights would certainly go a long way in improving or reducing the potential of red light running. Posted speed limit here is 45 miles an hour. Photo enforcement area. You see the 9960 alerts with the green and an arrow pointing to the head. Red light camera ahead. Limit 45. Attention. Overspeed. Caution. 
caution. Red light camera ahead. Getting 100 meters, 300 feet. Now we're getting a red indicator from the... You've reached your marked reached location. Your marked location. The 9960G. And the uh, audible alert tone from the C100 letting us know that we've arrived at the intersection. Photo enforcement area. Approaching Caution. your marked location. Red light camera ahead. There they are. You've reached your marked location. Marked location. Red light camera ahead. Limit 45. Caution. Your Red marked light location. camera ahead. There they are. Yes, they are. You've reached your marked location. Stereo. Photo enforcement area. Indicates green with the arrow pointing ahead at 12 o'clock. Now 1 o'clock as it's around here as we curve. That intersection was actually an overpass that we went under. We're in the express lane here. Okay, we're on a side street right now paralleling the Roosevelt Boulevard and I want to demonstrate to you how these detectors will alert to the uh, red light camera on the Roosevelt Boulevard when we're coming from one of the side streets. So we're going to start the move here and we're in close proximity to one. You're going to see how it alerts. You can see the 9960G is alerting green and to the arrows pointing to about the two o'clock position right now and we're going to come up to this intersection here which is masher street which is the cross street to the boulevard where the red light camera is okay we're going to turn right here you see it's indicating at about almost the three o'clock position and it's going to change to the 12 o'clock camera ahead minute 30. to the 12 o'clock position as it has as we make our approach to the intersection 90 meters away. And we're here at the intersection where the cameras are. And as you can see the 9500IX is indicating that the camera is a little bit off to our left as does the Pro GX65. You can see the little arrows pointing to about the 10 o'clock position. And that's pretty accurate. Okay, we're turning right to continue south on the boulevard, and we're just about finished here. You reached your marked location. There are the cameras over to our left. We're going to continue south here. And I think there's one more camera system on this road. Okay, as you see, we're finishing. The sign is indicating that we're leaving the, the, the fines doubled corridor, the safety corridor. There here is a red light camera system, and none of these detectors actually are alerting to it. So either the system is now here, and this database haven't been, uh, this is 9th Street and the Boulevard, or that camera is not actually enabled. In either case, these detectors, all of them, did not alert to that one system. So that's pretty much uh, how things look on the, in Northeast Philadelphia and uh, I hope you found this video informative and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you for uh, watching.